Listen, my horses are very good horses. He carries the weight, he carries it well, it will be in other horses' favour to carry less, but uh, he's spot on for the day. In his gallops, he doesn't really give a boy much, but come race day, Mr. Marshall always has, has him spot on for the day. He's got an incredible pedigree, you know, um, by Camelot, you know, the derby winner out of a six-time winning Galileo mare. And her asset to turn a foot, she really can turn it on, on a dime, and, and she can make up five, six lengths really quickly. Welcome to another edition of Horses to Follow in KwaZulu Natal and we're in the heart of the parade ring so there's lots of laughing, there's lots of banter, there's lots of happiness there's been uh, Vodacom Durban July Gallop just a few minutes away it gives me great pleasure to talk to Andrew Harrison, my bushy-haired friend and co-host how are you Grumpy? I'm alright, why? We caught you this morning, eh? No, four o'clock in the morning, not my day Not your day, we got you to work, we got you to work, yeah? <laughs> it stuck me out, eh? Right, Kevin Shea, good friend and uh, colleague, uh, co-presenter, you name it, he's here. Hello Kev. Hello Warren and Andrew, yeah, good to be here, nice to see the gallops. Thanks very much for uh, lastminute.com, but uh, not a lastminute.com, but it's uh, lovely to have you. We were going to just be Andrew and I, we've got some wonderful footage for this podcast. The Vodacom Durban July, a couple of questions, how many Vodacom Durban Julys have you won? Two. How many have you ridden in? Twenty-two. Your most memorable win? Always your first win, the Pitombe must be. Yeah. Okay. And my first one I ever watched, 1978, when politician won. Is yeah. that the first one you ever watched? Ever watched as an apprentice, right at the top there, watched the July and thought to myself, wow, wouldn't that be a treat if I could do that one day? And I think 25, 30 years down the line, 25 years, it happened. The great Justin Snaith, uh, you um, did he on dance his daughter. I had Justin's first uh, July winner, we had to share it with uh, Pocket Bar. But uh, yeah, he's gone on to, uh, to win three more after that, so he's got the edge on me and he's going for the record. You know, no uh, trainer has won five. Or have they? Uh, he's won five, he's, he's going five, for six. Yeah, uh, Mark de Cox, I think, is on five as well. Mark, is, Mark de Cox on six and Sidley at seven. Okay, so there you go. So Mid we still got six. And Mid Mid six. Mid six. Okay, so I'm missing a good race. I should have tried to be a jockey and learn something. <laughs> <laughs> now, Andrew, do it again. I was just talking to Kevin earlier on, and we're going to just quickly touch on the news in a moment. But do it again's gallop this morning was phenomenal. And when I, the states are, are, are normally quite vocal about their horses this year they every, everyone the, the, and the punters and the and, and the racing lovers seem to be a bit quiet about do it again and the more we get closer to the race Graham Walken said to me a long time ago do it again we'll win this year uh, I'm starting to I'm starting to agree because the gallop and, and the way things are panning out he's got to be a big runner yeah I think Justin's got him uh, spot on for this race I think he's been planning it from a, from a long time, like he planned Bulgarian last year. Yes. I think, uh, I watched the, the I think it was the most impressive gallop this morning was due to go. Dave, uh, sorry, carry on. Yeah, I agree with that. You agree with that, yeah, hey, impressive, yeah. Uh, David's uh, here with us, he's in the background, but uh, David, you're quite big on linebackers, is that right? Yeah, I'm yeah. a big, big linebacker. Yeah, David Thistleton's a big linebacker fan. And Bad uh, luck, Dave, run your cash. No, no, no <laughs> don't be silly. Uh, ran well, ran well. <laughs> no, 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 don't be silly now. You want double or quits with our side bet? <laughs> <laughs> Do it uh, again. Uh, uh, can you let me talk, please? Both of you. I want to put a bet on the table here. One of my multiple bets. I wouldn't be shocked if Warren Marshall runs first and second in the voting on Durban July. It can happen. Uh, Rascalians run second uh, to linebacker twice. Can he, can he reverse it? I think yeah, he can. He's having a season of his life too. Yeah. I, mean. I think, yeah, we've well, always got to follow these trainers when they're going like this. And you said, you, you've well. said it and you've just said it now. You wouldn't be shocked if Rascalian beat linebacker Not at all. Run. Not at all. Not at all. Rascalian, uh, he worked well this morning. I see he's... Uh, He's an aggressive horse, you can just see he gets himself in a state here, he was sweating a little bit, so he, he wants to do it. Yes. He's that kind of horse, uh, lovely action horse, both those three-year-olds are really good movers, and uh, let's wait and see, I don't know. You were a good mover when you were a bit younger, hey? Oh yeah, right. so you could do two new knees and you were gone. Be, couldn't be faulted. Though. Okay, enough about the Vodacom Durban July, let's talk about, because we've got a... We, 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 We've given your 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 opinions on the gallops. They're on YouTube. They're on all over social media. We've got some wonderful interviews that Tawanda is going to be inserting. Some really great footage that we've got, and we hope that our viewers enjoy it. 
But before the Vodacom Durban July, we need to talk about the news and we need to talk about the KwaZulu Natal Breeders Race Meeting that comes up this coming Sunday. Now, I know you don't know too much about the Vodic the uh, uh, KZN Breeders Meeting, but that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll talk just now in a moment. News. Big news is that there is a drive through tote. Kev, that's a great idea. They've got a drive through tote here in the center of the race course. You don't have to get out of your car. So if you want to punt, if you're a once a year punter, which we appreciate, uh, you drive into the golf course gate. Yeah, the golf course, right, gate 16, but it's the entrance to, to Royal Durban. So. Yes, Royal Durban, you know. Yeah, Royal no, I've Durban. seen it. Yeah, I've seen it there. It's a, it's a very good uh, initiative. Uh, they had it last year because uh, we were on the same level this time last year, uh, level three. Yeah. And uh, yeah, big time. And uh, it's, if you want to have a bit, just drive through, have a little bit, and you and you got your ticket in your car, and you, you can go home and carry on because there's no crowds at the July, so you're not going to be here yes. to have a bit. You don't want to go to the tote in the morning because totes, I'm sure, will be chock a block, which they normally all are. And with no crowds, people are going to go and take their PAs and jackpots and pick sixes and their fancies on the day. Instead of going into the tote and risking yourself, come to Gravel, drive through, put the money in your, put the ticket in your pocket, and hope it goes well for you. Yeah, I think it's a great initiative on behalf of Gold Circle because uh, it's quick, it's easy. If you're driving past, or you're doing your shopping at the game centre or at Musgrave Centre, then you come. It'll take you a few minutes, get your bets on, and, and uh, home Jerome, safe, clean, and uh, very efficient. Then uh, we were supposed to launch this week with our sponsors, Megatech Solar. We're just waiting for equipment and uh, the availability of the managing director to get to us and come and be a guest on the show. But it's exciting for us. I'm, I'm, I know I go on about it, but I'm very happy that we finally got a sponsor and we're going to give them their airtime. Yeah, well, at least someone's taking notice. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Someone is certainly taking notice. Let's quickly run through. Uh, I know that... Uh, it's been we've been at the gallops and we haven't really had a chance to to look at our race card for the breeders day but i just want to give the, the viewers a couple of the races that are going to be taking place i've had a good look one or two selections but you were just saying sean terry normally fires at this day yeah because sean's been a, a big supporter especially of summerhill stud and, and uh, willow magic i think he's got about four or five willow magics running and about four of them have got decent chances so yeah i'm expecting sean to fire the first race is off at 10 past 12 on Sunday. It's the Fort Stud KwaZulu Natal Breeders Phillies Juvenile Plate. It's a non black type event. Small field. Sean Terry holds a strong hand here. He's got Voltron and he's got Miss Magician, and they've both got big chances. Yeah, I think if you follow follow whatever uh, Lyle Hudson's riding, I think okay, you can't go too far wrong there. The second race is the new Predator KwaZulu Natal Breeders Juvenile Plate. And I'm just reading the sponsors' names because without the sponsors, days like this couldn't take place. Uh, a tough race. I like number two, Not Your Call, Lyle Hewitson, Sean Terry. The third race is the Willow Magic KwaZulu Natal Breeders, 1200 meters. Uh, an interesting race. I did interviews with uh, Justin Snaith for the GTV show. He says his horses have got chances. But again, uh, Sean Terry, he's got Warren Kennedy riding Dubavi Princess and uh, he's got Ashton Aries riding Magic Choice. Marsan's in the race. Uh -huh, it's her last yes, run, isn't it? It's her last run. She's going to go off to stud. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. You, no, you didn't ride Marsan for us. You rode Saratoga Dancer. That's the only horse I've had a share in that you've ridden, Saratoga Dancer. That one. Uh, correct. <laughs> and then we move on to the fourth race, which is the Summerhill Equestrian Quasi. <coughs> you ran in the July. Yeah, ran in the fifth of the July. Fifth yeah, of the July. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Everybody um, gave it no chance. Yeah. yeah, I said, how did it get into the July? Yes. And two horses that year, everybody questioned. They said, how on earth does the conglomerate get into the July? And how on earth did Saratoga dance? They run first and fifth. Okay, that's how they got in. <laughs> Summerfelt, Equ Summer Hill. Equestrian Quasi Natal Breeders 1200 is the fourth race on Sunday. Gonna put the knob up your nose. I like uh, a little bit of Chatterton's Keeper as a Ruffy, Royal Wolf, Alec Laird's in town, and the source is on a winning streak, so that's got to be respected. The fifth race is the Clifton Stud Quasi Natal Breeders. It's a mile. A, a difficult race at Maya Me for Gavin Gonzalez and Warren Kennedy is the one that probably sets the standard there. And then, Andrew, the sixth race is the Blue Sky Thoroughbreds Quasi Natal Breeders 1600. A tough little race. Uh, I would try and go with as many as possible there. And then the big one, the, the, the main line, the main race of the day, the headline race, is the Quasi Natal Breeders Mile. Is it a million rand? Or was it was a million. It was a million. Oh, 600,000. 600, okay, well, times a bit tough. So, 100%. So, yeah, That's so a two-horse race. 600,000, still nothing to be sneezed at. No. Yeah, well, everybody took a knock in their salaries and set for a few hours. Oh, no. But anyway, that's part of the parcel. Part and parcel. Uh, what were you saying? Copper Mountain. Mugs. 
<laughs> Copper Mountain. Uh, Copper Mountain is uh, Johan Janssen from and Gavin Larina. Got to be the horse that they all have to beat, but a small but competitive field. Yeah. Okay, and in the eighth and final race on Sunday is the homely pre-training quasi in Breeders' 1900 meters. Very, very tricky race to close the curtain on proceedings come Sunday. Don't forget to get milk on the way home. <laughs> there's some fashion, there's some fashion <laughs> about the Vodacom Derby in July. We've got some uh, models in the parade ring with, uh, what's our friend's name uh, from? Uh, Dave McLeod. Dave McLeod, and he's always been a bit of a fashionist, hasn't he? You were very big on fashion when you were younger. Yeah, like Dave McLeod, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gentlemen, let's quickly go through all the runners in the Vodacom Derby in July, which is the seventh race at three o'clock on Saturday, the 3rd of July. Start off with Rainbow Bridge. Kevin, I'll start with you. Rainbow Bridge, he really, really impressed me. Top class horse. 10 out of 10 to Peter Musket and Eric Sands. The horse looks absolutely amazing. It's got a top pilot on it. He's drawn one. He's the best horse in the race. He will be in the shake-up. That I can guarantee. Unless something terribly goes wrong with the horse, he will be in the shake-up. Speaking to Luke, they're going to give him a little bit of a chance. Everything's in his favour. Big runner. Yeah, big runner. The weight, Andrew, the weight's obviously a bit of a concern. Yeah, no, he's, a, he's, he's entitled to carry that weight because that's that's how good he is. Yeah. So try and level him out a bit. He's had 60 kilos on his back, I think, for the last two years, if you think about it. He's been running with 58s and 60s. The weight's not going to worry him. The problem is giving it away to the little three year olds, Rascalian, linebacker, those kind of horses. Yeah, uh, giving them seven kilos is a lot of weight. Seven though. kilos is a stone. It's a lot of weight, but the July. He's a lot of horse. He's a lot of horse and he's a big horse. No, I spoke to Eric. Eric was worried about the weight. He said yeah, that's the only, the only thing that can stop yeah. him is did the weight. Did you interview Eric? Yes, I did. Okay, well there'll be an interview with Eric Sands as well for you to enjoy. Eric, good to see you back again. Uh, hopefully it's, what's it, third, fourth time lucky? Third time lucky. Third time lucky. Second and then nowhere last year. Uh, beaten two and a half lengths and then this year the third year. Eric, I was watching him in the uh, ring here before the gallops. He looks outstanding. He's in a very good space at the moment, uh, he's spot on, it's probably the best prep we've ever had uh, leading up to the July. Um, uh, he's just a great horse, you know, it's, I, I personally, and I don't want to cry, uh, you know, spilt milk or anything like that, but the, the weights are pretty skewed. Uh, I don't think the handicappers have done it. I think if you had to get some international handicap to handicap, it would be a difference. Uh, we'd probably carry closer to uh, a couple of other horses and that, but Listen, my horse is a very good horse. He carries the weight, he carries it well. It will be another horse's favour to carry less, but uh, he's spot on for the day. He's drawn one. Luke has a lot of confidence in him, and that counts. It's a very big plus for me. Luke, Luke has come, he's matured a hell of a lot. He's only 19, but he, he's riding with great confidence at the moment. Him and Rambo have matured at the same time. Then how did he work this morning? Very good. Uh, went from the 14, um, started off in a nice even gallop, and uh, gallop right through. Yeah, I must admit, I've, I've watched him three, three Vodacom gallops in a row and he's, he's looked the best he's looked for a long time. Yeah, I think his, his, as he matures, his head's just getting better. Um, when I say that, I mean, he's, he's, he's quieting down, he's calmed down, he's not as, as aggressive in his, in his work and in races, so I think that's helped a lot. Luke, all the best. Your last race before you go to Hong Kong. Thanks very much. Johnny Hero was a recorded gallop. You know, Smanje Manje was the last time Tyron Zeki had a runner in this race and he nearly won it. Yeah, he's unlucky, he should have won it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pomodoro. A bit, to do, a bit to do, Johnny Hero? For me, a bit to do. Okay, the three Shah Akbar, for bit me, to do. he's got a bit, bit to, to do. do. Uh, Express from the US, bit a bit to, bit to do. do. How does it go? Yeah. A bit, bit to, to do. do. Okay, <laughs> five crown tires. That was uh, get up well. Look uh, well, yeah. yeah I interviewed uh, owner Nick, Sh Nick uh, Johnson. So uh, he will be. I think more. he'll be leading the pack uh, at the gates. He like, likes to race up handy. If there's nothing else that shoots off to the front, I think he's going to be in front. And I don't think he's going to be doing his own thing. I think he's going to be doing a little bit of work for the stable as well. Okay. Yeah, but also he's, he's, he's been consistent. Man. He's, Absolutely. He's, he's formed a, just at the right he, time. So he has. Uh, he has I'd come stick on. him in, you know, because they're paying six places, aren't they? Yes. Correct. Crown tires looked outstanding. Nice, solid, good moving sort. Yeah, he's a great horse. I mean, he's an eight-time winner. He's won three listed races and a group race now um, you know when he was a, uh, a young horse we we had high hopes for him and he really lost his way we had to geld him uh, he was really really hard to train I mean Justin really deserves a great deal of credit for this horse he's got him to settle um, we've worked out how, how he likes to run uh, he's got an incredible pedigree 
you know, um, by Camelot, you know, the Derby winner out of a six-time winning Galileo mare is just, you know, you know, not many horses ever set foot in South Africa with that pedigree. So, you know, he's got the blood. Uh, he does get a bit above himself, but, you know, Justin's done a great job with him. Uh, and, you know, I'm hopeful that Louis, uh, you know, gets along with him and, and, uh, and has a great ride at him. Um, you know, so if you, you've got to have a, have a go, I suppose. Six Rascalian and seven linebacker. Let's do Vaughan Marshall's duo together. Andrew, impressive, big runners. Ah, uh, yes, yeah. The scallion and linebacker. The three-year-olds that stick out uh, and come into Ding's other one, they, 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 they're the best three-year-olds around and they must line up. If you want to see a good year, you've got to take on the old horses in the July. Yeah, I interviewed Grant Van Niekirk, so he'll tell us more. And you interviewed Vaughan Marshall. Yes. yes. Your horse uh, and your stable companion both galloped, I thought, impressively today. Yeah, it was a very good gallop. Um, I'm very chuffed with the gallop and, um, you know, my horse is a side... The, the type of horse that doesn't really give away much in his gallop and, and, and okay although he does work well in his gallop he doesn't really give away much but come race day Mr. Marshall always has, has him spot on for the day and um, you know he's got a really good turn of foot and you know, I need to utilize that. Were you happy with the gallops this morning Ras Gallion and linebacker? Andrew I was extremely happy you know they did exactly as I asked them to do and uh, they've come through it very well um, and I, by, by next Saturday they'll be very 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 fit horses. Happy with the draw? Yes, very much so. You know, I couldn't be happier drawn where they are, six and seven. It's just fantastic. And Rascalian, I see where he came back, he was sweating a bit. Uh, is he always like that? Yes, pre-race pre he, he sweats very badly, but we've, we're getting on top of it. Um, today, he, you'll notice when he goes on race day, he goes down with those earmuffs, which keeps him a bit uh, quiet. But today, obviously, because of the gallops, we didn't have them on. But, um, you know, he does sweat a bit, yeah. Eight Sovereign Spirit. Back end of quartets, uh, a bit to do. Yeah, a little a bit. Did to he do. work quite well this morning? I Worked thought, nice yeah. under the care of Trevor Brown. Trevor knows what's going on. Yeah, um, yeah, they'll get it. It'll be 100% on the day. That I promise you. But Cirillo, Cirillo. Always had a little bit of a doubt about the trip. Yeah, he's never won further than 1400 meters. Unfortunately, I've always had the doubt. I, I was surprised the source actually got him. Yeah, but I, I, it's kind of strange. You know, he's never won past 1400 meters, but his form past that is actually quite good it's very good he hasn't won but he's, it's no he's good got good now. form he's always thereabouts but he hasn't won and he's uh he's getting the services of uh south african champion jockey lyle yurton i'm sure lyle must have been in demand with a couple of spare rides bulgarian was going kormita ding was going there were a couple of rides going as i said they were available and lyle's tied to uh, he's been faithful and sticking with his boss she's a keeper the philly kevin you said uh, lovely action Nice filly. Is she good enough? If you told me he's 52 kilos. No, I spoke to Warren. He was. He said he's on a bit of a. He's not quite sure how good she is. That's what I'm going to say. How good is she? We're going to see. Yeah. I don't know if she's a betting proposition in the Vodacom Durban July. No, it's not a betting proposition. Not a oh, what, what worries me is it's a rough race, and I think she, she's quite a slut filly. She was. She looks very fit. She looks ready. But she's. she's well. there, there's not much you can take off her, but I know that is her. She looks like a leopard, and she looks well. and like you say, you can't... I'll be happy to be on the fence. We're looking forward to seeing her run. We think she's going to run well, but not a betting proposition. She's got to be in the first two or three with that weight on her back. She can't start all of a sudden giving them chances and this and that. Yes. 52 kilos, you've got to get in. You're getting eight kilos from Rainbow Bridge. You, hopefully, you're going to turn for him in front of the, in front of him. If you turn for him with, uh, behind, uh, things, no, are, no chance, things yeah. are drastically going on in the race and you and you chasing. She's a keeper. She won very, very well in that, that 1900. Uh, she quickened smartly um, but she's quite a slight filly she's going to get banged around in the in the in the race because it's always a rough race yeah look look it is, it is always a rough race uh, that's my job to keep her out of all the scrummaging um, she might look a bit small but she, she's quite sturdy she's quite a robust little filly if, if you look at her um, she's she's quite strong I'm sure she can handle herself uh, the betting will 1900 yeah look um, we dropped her out in that race because we knew the July was coming up and didn't know where we were going to be drawn so we had to apply a different tactic I dropped her right out and her assets to turn a foot she really can turn it on on a dime and, and she can make up five six lengths really quickly um, so yeah we we're very upbeat going into the race yeah and she's got a nice light weight too which which helps yeah most definitely a uh, lightweight for the filly she's a four-year-old um, like I say she's unknown really I'm um, hoping for for a very big run her asset is a turn of foot she can really turn it on so um, all going well and she I'm able to keep it out of all the bumping and barging and all the argy bargy that goes on in the July. Um, yeah, I'm hoping for a very decent effort from her. 
Bulgarian, number 11, uh, Justin Snate's other runner, Samanga Kumala, uh, we interviewed as well. So we'll hear what Samanga had to say. Samanga had to say. Never too far off the action. Last year's winner, Andrew, he went through his prep this morning like a hot knife through butter. Yeah, but last year he was a handicap certainty. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this year he's got a bit more to do. 100%. Yeah. Agree with you, 100%. You know what, his last run was, was, uh, was incredible. Obviously, you know, uh, it, it was uh, quite a little bit short, and uh, but... Uh, he, he impressed me and coming back today, wow, a different horse uh, compared to the last time and uh, I was really, really impressed and uh, you know, the snake yard, they're very strong and uh, you know what, they put these horses in these type of races and uh, you, you're definitely in there with a, with a chance and uh, with him now, after this gallop, I'm really, really uh, looking forward uh, to, uh, to uh, obviously to the race and uh, you know, obviously Monty done a lot of uh, uh, work behind the scenes, you know, uh, trying getting me here to, to the gallops, you know, and I think it was well, sh it was a day and uh, effort well spent. Nexus, uh, yeah, Nexus, you got to respect the snake runners, but for me, a bit to do. Maybe he's got something to do in the race. Uh, yeah. No disrespect to the owners or something, but yeah, uh, good enough for me now. Running Brave number 13, she ran tailed off last in her last start. Uh, she can run. She can run this mare. I don't know. What do you make of her, Kevin? The last run, I got a <laughs> yeah. The last uh, run's a worry. A big worry for me. I'm very, very uh, disappointed. Why? Well, there's, there's got to be a reason to run that badly. Uh, I believe. I believe that they they sent the, the the jockey club vet around to to check her to make sure that she was sound for the race. Um, so she obviously passed the vet. Okay. All right. So something's good. amiss because that run is. Diabolical. Yeah. Okay. And I'll tell you what, uh, to get in the race with a run under your belt like that, very lucky, I personally think. Well, I agree with you. Yeah, that's well, my personal seen. opinion. I, I don't want trainers and owners to get upset about you. It's my personal opinion. I've seen these draws. I've seen these uh, horses come out the hat for the last 45 years. And I've seen there's always an unhappy owner and there's always a happy owner. And if you do get a run and I think maybe you haven't got a chance, to, it's my own personal opinion. I don't want you to take it to heart. And I've seen tw uh, 50 to 1 shots win it as well. So, done. It's not the be all and end all. My comment. It's my personal opinion. Yeah, it's just it, yeah, this for there for all to see. Twenty six legs off. There. Yeah, no, for me twenty six legs. But I'll be very surprised to even see it at the July. Yeah, you'd think something drastically went wrong. Either it bled or pulled up sore or done a joint or done something. But, but you said, uh, it's okay. they sent well, the vet they there. there There's hundred percent sign. So uh, well, let them run. Then why? Okay. Why? Can the, uh, maybe the trainer can tell us why it ran like. No, funny Bronquist has only had his trainer's license for five seconds. Yeah. yeah, he's got a horse in the July. So That's wow, right. yeah, wow. Okay. We want to know why it ran like it. Please, can somebody tell us why? Okay, somebody answer Kevin Shay. Number 14 has got the green light. Is it a concern to have a horse that last time was running on the 1st of May? No prep run into the Vodacom Durban in July. I'm not, I'm not stating an opinion. I'm just asking you the, the record question. Book, the record books speak for itself. The last horse to win with a dis with a, 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 this last run so far back, I think it was over 40 years. I'm, I'm open to correction. Yeah. Over 40 years. So, no disrespect to the horse, uh, no disrespect to jo Joey Soma. I think he's aimed him at the July. He's done it. He galloped. He, he worked him on the sand this morning. So, he's maybe going to have another gallop next week. I don't know how the tracks are in Joby, but I think this time of the year they're normally as, as, as hard as, as nails. Um, he's prepared for the race. He's going to be fit in the race. Uh, he's drawn 14, which is not a bad draw. A lot of winners have come from that draw. Um, could you He's call, there. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Could you call that lady to come and sit next to Andrew, please? I'd like to ask a question from a photographer's per perspective yeah, for the Vodacom Derby. That's July. myself. He's got to be a runner. He's a big runner. Okay. Sorry, I was in no, that's interrupted. Fine. No, that's fine. No, I was going to give the winner. No, but you know, we we in South Africa, we're always talking about preps and preps and things like that. But Aidan O'Brien Brown won the, uh, Group One in England. The horse hadn't run for a year. Ten months. Ten months. Love. Love. Yes. Into a, into Royal so it can Ascot. Be done. It can. Oh no! Listen, it can be done. Nobody said it can't be done. <laughs> uh, Mark de Kock was a was a king at uh, bringing horses back for big, uh, big dis, uh, big breaks and and getting them. So it can be done. We're not saying it can't be done. But the record book, we're trying to bring in all the variables. Variables, yeah. No. Every variable that is in town, you got to try and if not, why not? How? Why? Because who? Where? Now, I spoke to you this morning about riding in the Vodacom Durban July, oh, the pressures, the excitements, the tantrums, the no tantrums, the, the you know, from a jockey's perspective, he's a journalist, but it's, we've, we've stuck in a lady here that not many might have met or might have known, but uh, 
She's responsible for those glorious photographs that we get. You've seen her lovely photographs. Absolutely. Uh, and you can see that machinery on the desk there that uh, Tawanda will zoom in and you can have a look at that huge Canon camera. I think you should get a lost claim from insurance. Yeah, we could, we could, we could go on a six around the world holidays uh, if we do that. But from a, from, from a, a photographer's perspective, Candice, uh, what's it like? You know, obviously you've had the crowds and there's no crowds, but when they, tell us about both aspects when there were crowds and when there were no crowds standing on that finish line and the Vodacom Durban July feels thundering down at you. What's going through your mind? <laughs> well, first of all, when there are crowds, when you uh, always stand in the centre between the poly track and the grass, um, that's usually my spot for it. When the crowds are there, the atmosphere is phenomenal and I often think I'm in the best place to actually see it all. And when you hear the, the gates open, that roar is just unbelievable. But um, I must say, I get very nervous photographing grade ones. Um, I wake up with butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> you triple checking your settings before the race and you just hope that you're on the right horse at the finish. It's, it's well known that uh, you photograph along the side, along the sides the greats like Anita Akel uh, and um, John, Lewis, John Lewis and uh, a whole lot of photographers, the lady from Cape Town, your good friend. Liesl, oh, Liesl, Liesl, Liesl King, King. and uh, the country's the country's lucky to have such talented uh, jockeys, such talented journalists, such talented horse people, and such talented photographers. Well, thank you very much. It's a nice compliment. Um, obviously, there's not many of us around, but I would like to think that we could all hold our own. Obviously, Liesl King has flown the flag internationally. Chase has gone to Dubai, and Hong Kong, but I think for a, a small group, we, we've got a lot to be proud of. Well, from all of us at the Horses to Follow podcast, thank you for your lovely images and to all your colleagues and friends. And uh, may you have a very, very okay, successful day. Just make it sure it's in focus. <laughs> yeah, make sure it's in focus. Hence yeah. the butterflies. <laughs> You're most welcome to leave your, it's a very chilled show, leave your microphone on the desk and thanks for your time. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so nice to hear it from we. Yeah, it's brilliant. brilliant. Everybody plays a part in the Vodacom Durban July. Everybody plays a part in every race meeting. Do you know the commentator, the stomper on the on the turf. As a jockey, you know, you finish the race and you and you do all your things and da da da. If you've won and da da, it's the photographers that you get all those memories back. The yes. Sunday paper the next day, boom, there's the picture. Uh, all the social media, boom, there's the pictures. And and those are the things that people actually just take for granted when you think about it. Yeah. All those yeah. pictures, and then you get the. Uh, the parade ring pictures and that and we don't see them because we we do see them live and that but we don't capture them yes. at, in the moment and we do see them the next following couple of days so that's, that's it's fantastic that uh, that the photographers do they should be recognized a little bit more but unfortunately uh, uh, this time and tide of, of racing uh, you get shunned a little bit on the one side but you do do a very important job Okay, there's just a few more horses to talk about, then we're going to wrap because it's uh, been a long show and a great show, and so it should be, it's the Vodacom Durban July. Got the green light, okay, we've touched on him. Uh, Andrew, do you give him a winning chance? I think you win it. You like him to win, I okay. Like him to win. Kev, are you, are you sort of each way chance? Yeah, no, he's a big runner. He was my, my, my outright fancy all along, and now when I've seen Do It Again work, and I've seen the two Vaughan Marshall horses, Rainbow Bridge and that, it's not going to be cut and dry, it's going to be all about... Who has the luck in running? The luck in running. Number one, number two, the, the the path to get through. It's it's, it's a funny race, uh, Warren. You make one mistake and that's your chance is gone. You might get away with it. Might be a small little mistake at the mile and you can recorrect it. But from the 800 onwards, there's no mistakes. You got to make sure you get out. You're following the right horse. You get out. You get a clear run. You, it's it's it's. Uh, I'll thrive on it. I just get. I'm starting to get goosebumps thinking about it. Okay, <laughs> do it. Uh, Matterhorn, a bit to do. A bit to do. Bit to uh, do even yeah. even Allison said, "Yeah, they got to run." So you must run. Uh, you never Absolutely, know. Absolutely. You, you never, never know. know. Looked well. He, he said he's got a lovely action. Let's go. He's so been a late starter too. So yes, he's, he's only coming to. He's only coming to end. Yeah. 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 Now you got a ticket. You got a chance. Do it again. Well, the gallop was phenomenal. Yeah. We spoke to Nick Johnson. Uh, he was, uh, you know, a beat about do it again. Do it again this morning. Got to have got the heart pounding. Yeah, naturally. I mean, he's a, he's an absolute superstar. You know, he doesn't need to do anything more to be a superstar. Sure. You know, for horse to win two Julys, to have won a Queen's Plate, to win a Kaiser and Guineas, a Gold Challenge, um, to run third last year when he really wasn't well. He wasn't nearly at his best. 
um, you know, he had some ailments last year. Um, to run third like he did at that weight was an incredible run as well. So, you know, every time he he puts his foot on the track, you get goosebumps. He's a he's a magnificent uh, uh, horse, and uh, you know we all just love him. Comedy done, Gavin very impressed. Uh, let's quickly talk about Tristful, also a bit to do. Just a little bit, bit to, to do, do. he yeah. just hasn't come to the party, but I'm sure he'll be 100% on the day with Tony Rivlin. And in the last one we talked is Comedy Ding. You were impressed with the way Comedy Ding looked? He looked, he, well he was the best looker by far. We don't have to even uh, have to argue about that. Definitely the best looking in coat wise. I'm not saying as in why he looks, his coat was absolutely amazing. Um, it is a lot easier I think for Michelle as she's just got one or two horses down here. So she could, attention to detail can be a little bit more, but with the big stables, they know close to the time they'll do the they start doing the washing and cleaning. Kevin, did you watch that gallop? Comet it in. Yeah. Yeah. Was he pulling? Um, he was a little bit keen earlier on. I thought he was keen, and then I spoke to Gavin, and he said no. No, he said no. I think maybe he was. Yeah, he, maybe that's just the way he looks or yeah, something. But he looked yeah. a little bit keen early on. But but Gav is so chilled too. I think I think they Probably got didn't notice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is there. He's that chilled. Yeah, great ride and a great did friend. Did you tell him he was on on his July ride? <laughs> oh, Gavin, you picked up the ride on Komiti Ding. Um, are you going to make the weight? Yes, I'm on track and uh, looking forward to it. It's been a nice challenge and uh, it's a challenge I'm winning. Um, were you quite surprised to get the call? Um, yeah, it was, I was quite surprised but I'm um, very pleased and you know, I just had to wrap my head around it for a couple of days to to make the weight cut and uh, you know, once I put my mind to the job, um, you know, I've, en I've enjoyed this journey. Uh, he's a very nice looking horse the first time I've seen him in the flesh. Um, how did he work? He looked like he was pulling a bit. Uh, he didn't pull at all. Um, he was nicely gathered and uh, moved his legs very well today. He's in a good space and uh, he finished his work off well. You've drawn 18. Um, how are you going to do it from there? I'm going to have to play it by ear. Um, you know, I think Shishle has done nothing wrong on this horse. Uh, he rode the perfect race last time. But from the wide draw, I'm going to have to play it by ear and, you know, just see how the race unfolds. Yeah, so, no, he looked, he was the best looking horse in the parade ring and, and he worked well and, uh, as I said, he's had his chances now. He's been around this turn twice. You can't have any more chances now. You're lining up for the big one now. You've got to get out there and you've got to go. So, he's drawn 18. He's right on the outside. So, he's, he's going to have to ride the race exactly how the race is run you can't start you, you can think okay if i jump out well what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go up handy he's got a lot of natural pace so he's gonna be handy but you've got to ride the race now so you got to watch out and you got to look how they're going they're going 100 miles an hour the first two furlongs which they normally do you'd have to just wait a little bit wide and hope they start gathering themselves and whoever's in front maybe comes back a bit and you can start getting it. Yeah, it's, it's, Gav's got a bit of thinking to do and he's a lot of luck in running. Uh, the horse is there. He does like to run to the right of the horse, as we've seen. Drawn wide, you don't want to turn from two or three wide and have to go left. He might not su uh, suit that. Rainbow Bridge, another one, likes to run to the right. Always likes to go. You saw him in the Met. Come out, away from all the other horses. They, every time he's run at Gravel, he's hung in all the time to the right-hand side. They'd like to, Luke would like to get him in on that inside fence and go. They'd come and fetch me sort of store. If he's had to, uh, he's got two horses on his inside, he's going to be always trying to straighten horses up. You, you know where I'm coming from, Andrew? Yes, yeah. You don't want to start straightening horses up in the July. You want the head straight, you want to stick out, and you want to be going hell for leather. You don't want to have to start correcting horses. That's what I mean. He does run around. So Luke knows the horse, I think person he's got to take him to the right hand side well and not much more we can say for me a, t a temperament good temperamental jockeys just off the top of my head uh, you talk about Gavin uh, Gavin Lorena Keegan Demela. Keegan hasn't got a ride this year has he uh, no, no. Ne you want a Nexus Nexus I think he no Craig exactly let's exactly yeah, have a quick skim through the field yeah. no, Keegan's riding, riding Sovereign Spirit that's right he's riding, he's riding for so Trevor Brown yeah. uh, Ke uh, Keegan DeMello Grant Van Niekerk as I said to him in the interview no, we've got the best jockey be cool we've got collective. the best jockeys in South Africa they're lining up that's, uh, what more do you want um, let's see it's all about luck now and it's all about they all get to the races safe it's all about the horse we've got to get these animals here safe and sound at home safe and sound What's the set on the last question? Because An you're going to play golf, and Andrew Harrison's taking me for breakfast. Uh, no, the bloody breakfast will be finished by the time you finish. <laughs> what are the what are the celebrations like afterwards? I mean, it's just uh, the, the night of the July afterwards. It's just the celebrations. I mean, yeah, that's great. Party you into the night. Party into the night in the old days. There today, you'd have to go home now because uh, Mr. Sroo will want us uh, in bed at nine o'clock. So unfortunately, yeah. Uh, but yeah, when my both July winners were both uh, 
in my drinking days and I was uh, we used to party the whole night all night was, yeah. all night we only finished at uh, 8, 9 o'clock at night because he's riding in the 10th race yeah, or yeah. 12th race the party only starts at 9 o'clock and he starts at 9 and you walk into a party stone cold sober and everybody's been going for 9 hours not uh, not a pleasant experience you've got to catch up quickly not, oh we do that we catch up very quickly <laughs> ok we've had a lovely long podcast you some great interviews thank you to everybody that's helped us uh, a different podcast soon to be sponsored by Megatech Solar but from Warren Inferno, Andrew Harrison, Kevin Shea, and each and every person that assisted us today, we thank you. Hunt well. We've focused on the Vodacom Durban July. Next week, there's going to be a full podcast on the whole July card. But this weekend, we've got to get through the KwaZulu Natal Breeders Race Meeting, which is a great meeting to be a part of. From all of us, punt well, stay safe, and we'll see you as always in the number one box.